So this is a 87 year old. This is our episode number 24. Patient worsening dyspnea uh, for last six months. Has known MR in the past. Also has ischemic cardiomyopathy with EF around 30 to 35 percent. Has a stent and which has been patent now has two times intervention of that uh, LED stent. And uh, the whole issue is that uh, patient continues to have uh, now more progressive heart failure, which led to the echocardiogram showing the dilated LV and uh, global hypokinesis with the severe mitral regurgitation and on the TEE, partial prolapse of the posterior leaflet with severe centrally directed MR involving the A2 and P2 segment. And of course, you'll have a chance to see live uh, by Dr. our echocardiographer of the director of structural echo, Dr. Gila Park. Next. So this is uh, the pictures which we had before. So good echo, uh, guys, you guys can comment. Right yeah, okay, good, next. So transesophageal and uh, all shown, next. Uh, and this is basically put together, STS risk mortality of 4.14 and uh, Euroscore mortality of 13.1. Patient was evaluated by heart team, like uh, at your center, everywhere. That's a mandated by our um, CMS uh, and so, and documented and patient was determined to be prohibitive risk for surgical MVR due to age, comorbidities, and frailty. So today, referred for s 2 edge mitral valve repair with a mitral clip by transfemoral venous access and transseptal puncture. And they actually don't even have any arterial line except the anesthesia, uh, Dr. Stone is there. That they just keep an A-line, but no uh, arterial puncture in the groin. I mean, uh, that's a, a great thing. Next. Uh, so this will be the mitral clip device, uh, which is, uh, we have shown it before also. Uh, next, the more important is this is addition, and I'll ask uh, Anu to comment on, and uh, because they did the first case already yesterday with this uh, new clip, which is XTR compared to old NTR. Anu? Yeah, so if you see the old system, which is also still available, NTR, essentially if you see the length of uh, the clip, itself is uh, you know, the NTR was like six millimeter and now the XTR is uh, nine millimeter. So also what has happened is with the DC handle, the torque is uh, one to one. And more important is uh, um, when you, once you open it, you don't need to relock the clip again. So very easy, uh, uh, easy to use. And what they, the term they keep using is that you are able to customize your mitral valve therapy to every patient. Um, in the past, based on the annular dilatation, the annular uh, size, and uh, you know, if the leaflet, there are many cases where we have we not been able to grasp in what we are saying is not uh, just degeneration, but you know, many of them are combined degeneration plus functional, and there have been cases where we know we were not been able to grasp. But with this uh, newer XT, we will be able to grasp all these cases. Uh, where you have uh, uh, annular dilatation. But more important is I think it's um, way uh, much easier to use and uh, grasping will be faster. You'll see as we do the case. And the other question is, will it decrease the overall incidence of second clip? Uh, Gilbert, what do you think? Uh, knowing that in the studies have been about 20% second clip and third clip in about 4 5% of cases. That's an excellent point, Dr. Sharma. I, I think uh, it depends on the pathology. I think the s advantage of having both XTL and NTL, as Dr. Kinney says, you can customize the need for either one clip or two clips. So it depends on the breadth of the jet, the baseline gradient. Uh, you know, the key with the mitral repairs we know is surface coaptation, leaflet coaptation. The fact that we have a newer, longer clip increases the leaflet coaptation, can probably uh, avoid the need for a second clip for some cases, but certainly improve the outcomes of mitral repair. I think that's the most important message. A and the other thing is also could be in a somebody like this patient who has very dilated ventricle, so by putting the first clip as the XTR will bring it so that your second clip will be much easier. Correct, that's Maybe. absolutely right. You've increased the surface coaptation and will be interesting to see in future study where there's even an annular uh, plasty effect. There's already some discussion of that already. Okay, uh, next I think this is just the individual uh, the device which uh, you'll talk about uh, as a practical uh, yeah, yeah next so these are the various knobs and handle keep going uh, next. so you see that yeah. essentially I think three things you need to know uh, one is the the system will include that uh, uh, steerable uh, guide catheter 
that is very important uh, which is the first thing that we are going to introduce and after that will be the clip delivery system so everybody uses the term what is called as uh, CDS uh, that is what after that we just talk about what's called as a DC handle when you we, uh, we use the term DC handle is the last part you see that it is clip delivery handle but uh, the term we call it as a DC handle so this uh, uh, terminology will be using uh, when we are doing the um, case and uh, you see the stabilizer that's uh, holding the entire system okay good Are next we ready to start ready yeah. to start yeah. okay yeah. we can uh, yeah. uh, Gila if you can show us the echo yeah. and right. go over the echo now can and we show the live and echo and this is the live echo yeah yes yeah, so um, first thing that we see that the patient dilated cardiomyopathy is moderately Love. reduced about and you can already appreciate that the valve leaflets are restricted in um, and we see it a little bit better here. Um, there's pretty significant MR. It's a very large from the entire coaptation of the A2P2. Uh, and we can look uh, more closely at the valve. This is an important view. This is the intercommissural view where we can see the one A2 3 scallops. Uh, define exactly where the MR is coming from. And again, looking at this, we can see that this is from the entire a2P2 cooptation, we can see that also on the 3D image, we see a very wide jet right smack in the center of the mitral valve. This is an important view for us to look at when we're doing the clip. This is a commercial view on the left side um, and a plane view. This is a perpendicular view to that, looking at the LVOT view where we see the exact exactly the A2P2 and we can see exactly where we want to place our clip or two clips. When we look at it on 3D, this is important. This will become important yes. later when we orient the clip arm. Um, also, the 3D in order to um, make sure that we, we have the adequate valve area yes, yes. before starting. But now get the not valve not area, which is 4.4 yeah. in how this case. How much does he weigh? With a baseline mean gradient of 1. Mark, how much does he weigh? Okay. So we need to make sure give an, give one the one patient doesn't have. Give one more and we're ready for a transeptal. One more thousand. Yeah. All right, so we are all ready to start. And uh, now based on this, uh, we'll let's ask uh, Asad also, he's our young, budding structural interventionist. Uh, Groin access means uh, the yeah. vein, figure yeah. of eight, yeah. and uh, the pre-close. Tell yeah. us, Asad. So uh, different strategies are used for pre-closing the vein and stuff. We have adopted two pre-close strategy, and also we do a figure of eight suture just as a precautionary measure. You want to just show it, uh, yeah. the camera? Okay, now. Camera can, can go on the groin. Yeah. Uh, so we have done two pre-closes here, and also we have put a figure of eight suture, uh, which we which will put sub subcutaneous pressure in the end. Uh, you can do this uh, the same thing with just one pre-close as well, but just to be on the safe side and avoid any potential groin complications, we have adopted the strategy of putting two uh, pre-closes and also a figure of eight. Yeah, eight well, features. this strategy is really fail safe. We have zero uh, yeah. vascular complication in all our mitral clip cases. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we actually had one complication. Uh, on the mitral clip last year we did 52 and that was from arterial side yeah. mm. four, French French <laughs> four, <laughs> four French artery yeah. Yeah. But that's when we stopped uh, taking the arterial, arterial access, access. Yeah. there's no arterial puncture here yeah with echocardiographic guidance really not necessary to have arterial access uh, in these patients now Philip how are you using uh, are you using this figure of eight I know what people are using pre-close but what are you using at your center yes so uh, we use the same as you so we use this one pre-close one pre-close and then one figure of eight ah, okay. um, and Good. one thing to mention is we always use ultrasound guided puncture um, to ensure yeah. to reduce the complication. So, but similar technique, yeah. Okay, good. And as soon as we get access, we uh, give a little bit of heparin, yeah. three that's or four thousand. That's an interesting point. In the beginning, we never did it, but uh, the, what you need to do is while you're doing transeptal, since uh, the one of the key aspect of uh, clip is getting the right transeptal. Uh, for that, you'll take time and make sure you're at the right spot. So it can go anywhere 5 minutes to, you know, 15, 20 minutes. So you have to give heparin, 15 to 2,000 units of heparin, so there's no clot formation uh, at the level of the septum, and you have the um, sheet there. Now, okay. what we used is a SL1 sheet, which is already inside, and we have the <coughs> Bailey's uh, needle. If Are you showing it? Right? Good. It's all flushed. Everything yeah. is good. Yeah. So we connect the Bayless needle to the hemodynamic monitor. So we make sure 
once we get access, when the left atrial uh, pressure can be directly measured, so we're in the right place. And that's so the measurement is the uh, is the research tool now to see what is your residual atrial gradient uh, besides just the degree of mitral regurgitation correlating the outcomes at the future. So okay. now you can see my handle here, right? Keep showing my hand. Are you able to see that? You can see the tip coming out. On the fluoro, are you able to see the tip yep, of yep, the? Yep. Yeah, yes, it's yep. beautiful. Good. So I'm at 5 o'clock position, between 5 to 6, so keep coming down. So on the echo, we are showing the bicable view. So I think uh, instead of uh, hemodynamics, you show the echo. Yes. We'll tell yeah. you when to go to hemodynamics. Just continue show the continuous echo. Beautiful. So I'm, no, I'm no other way. The lower screen, change it to echo. I think that's very important to have this picture because you can appreciate yeah. mm -hmm. the anterior and posterior movement of the needle. Yes. Beautiful. Perfect. Good. Yeah. So you can see the... Uh, so I'm coming down on the... By cable view, can we? See, can you see me? No. So the tip is closer. You see that now? Yes. I ca you can see me. Yes. Coming down. So keep the same view. No more change in the echo view. So is keep till you come to the center of the fossa. It's a very thick septum with a yes, small fossa. Yes, yes, yeah. So you may see a small jump now. Yep. To feel it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Floral, please. So we predicted the jump. Now you see the tenting. At this time, you will go to a short axis. And I'm going to go posterior. Can you see my hand movement? So I'm rotating little posterior. It's a little clockwise movement. Yes. Yep. Nice clockwise movement will Good. take me posterior. Good. Beautiful Perfect. view there. We are stopping, so it's nice posterior, and uh, we can give us the height measurement, Gila. Yep. So this is a beautiful four chamber view there. So you will, what you'll do right now, you'll take the annulus of the where the cliff is. You see that the tenting, nice tenting. You still see. Don't move the, don't move the. Yeah. yeah. From there. Yes, all the way down. Four point. Four point one. 4.1. And how much it should be? Yeah, about 4. 4 and above. Oh, okay. So more important is the height and other thing is posterior. Good. I think we zap here. Everybody agrees? I think it's a beautiful uh, demonstration how important this is. And I think with uh, 4.1, especially with uh, this uh, new XTR, it's, it's perfect. The longer arm will, uh, will uh, allow you to uh, have a beautiful result here. Yeah. Okay, you see that? You need to see the little bubbles. Nice. Okay, so we're going in. So what the, see my movements, please. Hand movements. So I'm advancing the whole system. A little bit of the whole system in. And then. You lost the tracing of the left atrium right now. No, we'll come back. Okay. We got it. Yeah. I did. Okay, well. Yep. Okay, okay. Good. Went through. So it's very important, as Dr. Kinney pointed out, that you maintain the needle because it provides the stiffness ah. for the transeptal. Because often in the elastic septum, if you don't, the dilator may not be enough and you end up actually not going through. Uh, and that's one so of the tricks. So first thing you do, do is uh, uh, give the full heparin. Uh, you yeah. want to do another yeah. measurement? Yeah. It's uh. running now. Yeah. Okay, good. You give six now, other no. thing is uh, full measurement. Uh, Gil, I want another height or we are good? We don't total need to connect uh, to sure. the pressure. Total. Yeah, I'm giving a pressure. Yeah. You can show the, now you can show the pressure. Okay, go to the, show the pressure at 50 scale. At 200. Change yeah. it to 50 scale. Left rate trim to 50 six. scale. And then to ACT. Okay. See, the one uh, uh, good thing, I don't know, Philip, what uh, system you use about this uh, bale is, is um, it is atraumatic. See the way we did it, that one, because the road, uh, radio back tip, the echo you are able to see mm -hmm. where how your um, you know transeptal catheter and needle Absolutely. movement yeah, and once you are at the right spot you don't have to do anything you know it's uh, atraumatic and when you think it is right you just uh, do your zapping and you are able to get the 
transeptal. Is our height is good, right, Gila? Yep. Yeah. Good. Mm. That's it. So now once we are done that, the wire we use with the confida wire, which the same wire we use for the towel. So it already comes pre. The heparin is in. Yes. Okay. Heparin has to be in, and your ACT above before we even think of uh, moving with the. Guys, yes. yeah. uh, so you see that uh, essentially it Double should be in the left thousand. atrium the initial teaching it used to be down. that as, uh, the wire has to be in the pulmonary vein but at this time we don't uh, focus on that as long as you're in the left atrium and in this case we know that the left atrium is large now we'll take out this sheet yes we really love to use the confida wire as well because it's uh, very atraumatic and yeah. safe, especially when you aim for the pulmonary vein. Um, this is right now our wire of choice. We used to use the amplats, but we, we switched yes. completely to this wire. Nice. So it comes out. Good. Now uh, get us the steerable guide. Now very important, uh, we have to dilate first. Yeah. So the guide is a 22 French, so we are going with a 14 French dilator. So dilate the vein as well as the tissue in the groin, mm -hmm. making sure you are, right? Mm -hmm. Guide is okay there, mm -hmm. yeah, wire. This is 18. Yeah, this is Do you need but a bigger? Uh, no, this is good. No, there's yeah. skin nick. No, no, this is good. Go, go. Okay, now you, uh, we have our steerable guide. Very important what you need to do with the steerable guide is the knob movements. And other thing is you need to activate. Take a wet uh, gauze. This whole thing needs to be activated so it will be very slippery. So the knob has to be neutral now. Not positive, make it negative. 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 Go negative. I think that's very important to, uh, so put to make more the fluid. insertion very easier when you take all the plus out yeah. in, in neutral can position. Can we zoom in at the insertion? So you can see the advantage of using a figure eight or mattress suture here is that I don't need to put my hand on the groin. You know, you keep the entire view c in, the in place and you just pull this up to be able to tamponade the area to hold pressure. Yes. So same thing, one person is holding the wire Give me the dry gauze. Now it is too slippery. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, good. Always there is some resistance uh, even if you have dilated the groin. Nice smooth movement. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, why wire? Why? Pull the wire a little closer. Keep the wire that position. ACT is 276. Yeah, we gave one more thousand already. Okay, now when you are here, go plus. Go past the neutral. That's good. So neutral. once in the left atrium, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is, uh, the Gila, we are coming yep. in. Can you yep. see us? Yep. Did we cross? No. Um, I think it's a thick septum. Not sure that the guide is. I think you're ten. Th I think you're ten thing, but you're not cross yet. Yeah. Yeah. I think this uh, is a little thick septum. Maybe you have to do some rotation. Yep. Or do yeah. okay, yes, now sir. it's true. Uh, that's an interesting point which uh, Philip mentioned is the same. That if it does not go, mm -hmm. what you'd go, do you take your handle here. Mm -hmm. Just gentle rotation, not aggressive. Just gentle rotation. Yep. If it does not go, then you take the whole thing back and the technique that we showed in the past that you may have to go and balloon dilate there before you get in. Yes. Guide is too deep in, so pulling yeah. back a little bit. Yes. So now next step is that you bring your stabilizer. Mm -hmm. Stabilizer is right here. And the way they always tell you is that when you are placing the stabilizer, this should be facing your eye. Good. Mm -hmm. And then you put the screw, so your uh, steerable guide is nice and tight. One thing that we do is, 
that we have a three way stop cock here will connect it to the pressure so we will have a la pressure tracing yeah. all the time so first thing you do is the dilator comes out this the dilator comes out the wire still there and now you take out the wire also are you showing the fluoro now the wire came out yeah. this is a very important point so there is other thing is right here wait one second let them focus here as you're taking it out you cannot have uh, air being sucked in so what happens is everything is coming out see that you, so you still have tapping a lot of tapping of tapping color. and withdrawing good now you flush so there will be no air bubble or anything going in give me a bigger flush gila you are saying something you have a lot of back across yeah. two okay, and a half we will, centimeters. We will pull back. So no blood, everything is clean. How is it connected? Now you can see the LA pressure tracing. So this will be a continuous LA pressure tracing that will happen as we are doing the procedure. You see it? Need to yep. clean it up a little bit. Maybe clean okay, the wait. A little bit too. Yeah, I think that's a beautiful tracing. Um, before yeah. we also do this um, in our case, also one thing we do before is uh, to have the pulmonary vein um, flow measure to see if we change something during the case. Is that something you do routinely in your uh, in your cases? Uh, we routinely don't uh, do that, mm -hmm. right? On echo, echo, on echo, on echo, on echo she echo. does it, yeah. On echo, on echo, the PV, uh, the pulmonary vein flow. It's yeah. something, uh, yeah. some yeah. value sometimes. Yeah, because after one <coughs> after you place the first clip, your color flow jet and the color jet can actually di get distorted. Yeah. So you can falsely think it's actually getting worse. Now, is but a guide uh, enough or do we have to pull back? Guide, good, enough. So now introduction of the... So one thing we notice also is that uh, with the transeptal sheath versus the actual guide, the pressure, there sometimes is a bit difference. The V way actually is higher with the guide uh, because maybe because of larger opening. So, so we use this as a new baseline to so that we can compare before so and afterwards. So the steerable guide, you know, movement is that same. If you go, this is anterior, and if you go counterclock is posterior. Just remember that, okay? Mm -hmm. Anterior, posterior. This movement. Yeah. Now will be introduction of the clip. Yeah, so okay. same. You have one per will be fluid, and as you enter here, okay, good. And now your blue to blue connection has to be good. You see, can you? Sh yeah. Okay, cannot see that. So what we've done also, you can see on floral, we see the guide position where we think that we are in safely have enough across. So we have used as a reference point. So we can also use floral. At the same time, if Echo is uh, no, not able to get the image, you'll be able to see how much guy we have in place, so we can. Okay, now can we? Can you focus? Come this side. Yeah. Here, here. So my hand. hand. Yeah. How we go in and that show the next important part is the straddle as it comes out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you see that the clip is coming out. So yeah. I'm advancing from with the left hand and with the right hand I'm going in. Stiff you see that? Yeah, Everything is. Going in, nice. So, so this is, a, out, this is, is a, a very good demonstration of a well controlled advancement. Yeah. One yeah. one end can stop the so device at yeah. any time. Now I have straddled it, and uh, I'll dis, uh, dis, uh, explain what straddling is. It's good straddle. Okay. Perfect. So essentially, what happened is the clip delivery system that just went in has two radio opaque ring, and then your steerable guide catheter at the tip has another ring. Got that? So the two rings of the clip delivery system, uh, the steerable guide catheter ring has to be at the center of the two rings which are in the clip delivery system. So you got this? CDS has two rings, and then you have a steerable guide. Yep. The center of the guide, can, uh, can we go Sine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see it now? The two rings on either side of the ring of the guide so this is called straddle so what does straddle do that you will your clip delivery system amount of the length of the clip delivery system and the height is good enough so that now you will be able to you know move the clip delivery system 
uh, to get the right trajectory to enter the mitral valve. So next we will do is the movement which should be posterior, posterior and, medial. and then will be medial. Why posterior? Mm. Is essentially to say that the posterior leaflet which forms about two-third of the annular attachment of the whole mitral valve, uh, the line of cooptation, which we call the smiley face on the echo, is uh, posterior. So that is why you go medial, because that is how the mitral valve is facing, and then you go posterior. That's the movement we are going to do now. Mm -hmm. so, so, so you see here, medial. So, so the medial knob is yeah. here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go M. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought that you start seeing well the echo, the see I'm there. And then I'm going a little posterior. You want to show floral as well? Yeah. Just clear the Other thing ridge. that <laughs> we have to be very careful is <laughs> avoiding the Kumutin ridge. Right? So normally when we are doing this movement, suppose we are too lateral, we could be in the left atrial appendage. So what is Kumutin ridge? The edge of the left atrial appendage and the pulmonary atrial uh, pulmonary yeah, pulmonary, pulmonary vein yeah. is the Kumudin ridge. Yeah. So you the, that's likely the kip, clip may get uh, uh, stuck in there. So you have to make sure you are not yeah. close to that. Coming down, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so you can see on floral yeah. that uh, you can do the M and you can see the clip on the echo as well simultaneously. It's 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 people say it's an echo driven procedure but actually yeah. you need to integrate floral and so echo at the same time the to see. I'm going in a straddle yeah. a little bit more right? Yeah. And it makes yeah. the procedure yes. much more efficient yeah. than just relying on one mod modality alone. Okay so now I'm good I am. Do you want more? More M? Yeah. Mm. At this point, we uh, we also. So like why we were checking on fluoro is the same that it has to make a 90 degree uh, angle on the fluoro. That's the time you know that uh, I think you have appropriate amount of M. Mm -hmm. We like Good. to use a 3D also view um, to help to guide the posterior interior. Uh, All right, Gila, at let's this do point. a 3D. Not yet, not yet. Okay. We have to <laughs> not yet because you got to be. Uh, the line, uh, <laughs> uh, right, uh, cooptation, the cooptation, right about the valve. We are not mm. about the valve yet. Mm. So, so the question is, uh, do I bring medial, pull, pull back, back, the, right? Mm. Good. Yeah. yeah. Pull back. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bring the clip closer to the valve. Oh. Yeah. I think it's <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so the valve, uh, we are more. advancing, uh, moving with the DC handle, we are going closer down. You see that? So we checked on the floor valve. also. So we are right above the valve. Uh, I don't like the trajectory. Right? It will dive more medial. Yeah, we can do a little plus as well. Yeah. 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 Plus? A, bo a bit more air. How did you ask? Did it or not? So I'm bringing a little bit medial. So to do medial lateral, you okay. move the stabilizer. So I'm bringing the stabilizer back, so we are more medial. Okay, see that? Now we are coming a little closer. Okay. Uh, Gila, put some color so we know we are on the right part. Yeah, see? This is very important yeah. that this is exactly where the jet is. So yes. now do we open? Yeah, yes. So very important opening part. Are you showing here? So y what you do is you take the grippers. You see this? These are the grippers. You just pull back till you see the nice blue ring. Close it. Good. Same thing. This will be the clip where you pull back. Unlocking. Oh yeah, unlocking so that you can see the blue line. And then you move it so that it's unlocked now. No. Yeah. It's good. You can leave open it now. The so you will have to see on the floor row that when I open, the clip is nice. You see that? That's good. 60. Yeah. Go to 60. No more. Now, since we showed, you see that the clip is longer, we will enter the LV at 60 degree only. <laughs> Otherwise, it may try to get stuck and uh, no, no, we go to the wall. You're going to need to rotate the clip. 
this one saying we no longer yeah. then so with the old system what we used to do is once you open we had to lock it so with the new system don't have to lock it we just keep it unlocked that's it so 3d now we can go 3d to see exactly how the line of uh, cooptation is so it has to be perpendicular the clip has to be perpendicular to the line of cooptation and we see the smiley face yeah, it, uh, rotate clockwise. it is not right yeah, no. no you're not yeah. clockwise so which rotation. means you take your dc handle you remove your screw here and then you move backward forward which is a clockwise very small movement small gentle movements like that like your uh, translation they say is much easier here it yeah. used to be one to three for that old system one to one here so i'm doing like uh, the flossing movement see there you want me to move more it's a lot why is it not okay now it could yeah, just floral, sort of sort of the floral as well I think this little movement of back and forth yeah. is very important yeah. to translate the tension. So you can see on floral as yeah. well in matching an echo. That looks pretty good. Good. What do you think? Is it li much uh, better. Great. Line of cooptation. What are we? 12 and uh, 6 or 12 and 5? Okay, uh, Gilbert, mm -hmm. just explain what we did. So what we did, we did actually audio. is that you see then on 3D Echo, the clip is now perpendicular to the cooptation line that Dr. Kinney mentioned. So we actually rotate the floral to take the parallax out of the clip as well. So when we enter the LV, we can see whether it spins so that we can align the trajectory because this is supposed to be optimal trajectory with a position orientation of the clip relative to the mitral valve. So this is an additional tool that we use that's been actually very helpful to make sure that we don't have any minute rotation of the clip when we grasp. Uh, Gilbert, I think maybe yes. a more clockwise. A little bit more what? Maybe a little more clockwise rotation. Look at okay. it. A little more clock. A little bit more clock. No more clock. On the little bit more. clock. More clock? Eli, you're saying yeah. clock more? I think a little bit more. What they're trying to achieve is really a 12 6 position. Yeah, yeah 12 Almost. 6. But uh, okay, now I think we're good now. 12 yeah. 6. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, I think that's better. Touch more. No? Looking good there. I think we're good now. I yeah. think that's good. Okay, that's good. so I'm go. Other thing yeah. is, once I've done the DC handle movement, you see this black knob that I'm showing. Can you see that? Always tighten it. Otherwise, it will go back to your original position. So tighten it. So we are looking good there. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the floral, what Gilbert was mentioning, if you see there, there is uh, uh, no parallax. Essentially, your clip, you know, is one line. Yes. You don't see the two arms of the clip moving on either way. So it's nice yeah. one line. So we know everything is looking good. Any Move to the LV now. <coughs> the trajectory. Yeah. At this point, I, I may ask a question about yes. your your strategy. So, if you are thinking to clip, are you thinking to go in the middle first and see how the jet will behave, or to go in the more lateral part of the jet where is the Ooh, most the severe middle, jet, middle. and to put another? So, wh where do you middle. think you're going to land your first middle. clip? Middle, 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 middle and middle. then we'll go. Uh, yeah, lateral later. Yeah. So you're going to go in the middle and then yes. see how that's yeah. good. How it looks. That's that great. So now we are saying we still we are not happy with the trajectory, right? Echo. Yeah, on the echo trajectory doesn't look good. What do you think, Gila? Uh, you're probably going to go. You're right now. You're right in the center. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you can try. Should we just go in and check? Okay, we are going a little plus. Three point five fifteen. So yeah. clip is too closer, so we are pulling back the clip little bit up, see that? That's good. And again, tighten your black knob, and then we are going a little plus. You moved a lot median. Yeah. Or so when you give it a little bit of a plus, you, you, you're getting a little bit posterior. Oh. And you can correct I for the interior, interior position. Yeah. Yeah. And the one we just did, uh, yeah. I like it more. This so better? better? I took the a little bit M off. Yeah. So 
in the bike combi. Yeah, huh? no more plus. Plus and anterior. That's what we are doing, right? Mm -hmm. We are going medial. Yeah, and good. Then, and then full back the clip. Pushing the thing away, and then just close to death. And then pull let's come out. I yeah. cannot do any more pull back. Uh, no? No, no, you can. No, but then you can understand the level if he has that. Okay, good. We pull the guide out. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 pushing. The whole we are on the middle. I'm pushing in. Mm. Good. Mm. Central now? Yeah. Okay, Gila, we are good? Yep. Do we enter the LV? Yes. Okay, I'm going in now. So same, DC handle, you uh, release the knob. Check the and uh, I'll go in slowly. No, in case you have to go in when you go in. Okay, slowly. So you see my with my left hand, the right hand is on the guide. And with the left hand, I'm going in. I'm going slowly. Nice. Perfect, stop there. Good. It's already ca caught. Okay, I'll leave it there. Mm, and then uh, same. I will uh, tighten the knob, black knob. It's okay. No? Mm. You just take it a little bit more. Yeah. We are 60 degree. Uh, you want to open it a little That's bit fine. more? Yeah. yeah. Huh? Now we have to go to open at 120 for yeah. grasping, right? So I'm going to open, okay? It yeah, it's locked. Yeah. Opening it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 3D. 3D, yeah. Gila? Okay. okay. It's, it's 120. We open. This so is good to join for 120 or you want more? A little bit open more. Open a little bit more. So one great thing about this uh, XT system, like you see here, is uh, since the the clip is larger, you know, three millimeter uh, longer. As soon as we go in, look at the leaflets are already yeah right yeah. compared to the old system yeah. where yeah. we have to like mm -hmm. do a lot of How's the orientation? Uh, you need to rotate clockwise just clock. a tiny yes. bit. Clock a little bit. Clock, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to release the knob again. And little movements. So every yeah, movement has to be small and s gentle movements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, translate, translate, translate like that. Like flossing, dental flossing. See that? Good. Good. That's Good. Better. That's better. That's nice. Good. better. Yeah. Enough, no, right? Enough. Yeah, yeah. No yep. more. Good. Huh? More? No, no, no. She's saying I have to leave her. You want? Philip, what do you think? We're good? I think you're very good, okay. and uh, it's very important to be gentle when you do this under the valve to yes. uh, uh, yes. not okay. cut into cordae and, and muscle, but you did like the perfectly. Ready to yes, ready to grasp. very nice. Okay. Ready to grasp? Everybody agree? Yeah, yes, Ye nice. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now these are the views that we need to be using when we are grasping. Bicom view. So same, I'm going to release. So what you're doing is, if you can see my hand movements, my left hand is on the DC handle, and uh, sorry, right hand is on the DC handle, and the left is on the guide catheter. So guide catheter will be going posterior, anterior as you need it, and I'm pulling back. And the movement has to be so small that you barely you see it. And Asad, you have to be ready to drop the yep. grippers. So you have to go me a little posterior. I, I uh, talk a little bit anterior now. That's good. Yeah. Okay, I'm dropping. Okay, we are dropping now. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Good. Go. Okay. You have to tell the echo car. Yeah, so that they can record it. You see the grippers going down. Good. And now we are locking. You close it. Good. Okay, now you have to assess for the. Do you un undo the tension? 
yeah, undo the tension. What we are doing is, I'm going to go in a little bit. Your DC handle go in a little bit. And nice. Then and then secure. And then, yeah, secure it and hold it. So you have to look for the leaflet attachment. That's the term used. So that now, Gila will check. Did we get enough of the leaflet inside the clip? Yeah. And also, you can see on floral as well, the clip has not rotated. Show any that. Show the floral. Yeah. So, so you understand. can see. You see that? Millimeter. Remember, when we started, we seen an image to make sure the clip is aligned. You can see the, the two arms are pair, uh, overlapping each other. You can see now at the grasping, it stays the same. That means the clip has not torqued. This is a much more important device to make sure that's the case because the longer clip arm, if it torques and once you release the clip, you can actually create more MR. There we go. So we have used echo and floral. And uh, very important, uh, show the hemodynamics. We had V waves up to uh, 45, 50, and now look at it, 30. Show the hemodynamics, please. And that's oh, before the clips were using. Yeah, we haven't closed. completely closed. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, show us the leaflet uh, attached. Uh, how much is it? And then yeah. you show the. Oh, not I think there's good Show the uh, color, and then we close uh, it on the color. I think the grasping is good. We have a uh, good. Um, I think it looks good. Okay, can you show color and then Dr. Kinney can uh, can uh, yep. can lock and uh. then close the clip. Okay. Tell me when. Okay, okay this is the first time I'm locking the clip. And now I'm going to close under color to see the MR reduction. And you can see. Actually, afterwards, we're going to show the B-way. The B-way now is even less, yeah. down to 25. So show the hemo V-waves, yes. Actually, uh, I think uh, all the MR is gone. <laughs> and you can <laughs> see also on floral how parallel and overlapping the clip arms are. And uh, look at the V-way going down as we speak. No, so with this easy. combination of echo and floral, we've been able to really make the procedure more efficient and accurate because Echo is one modality, but floral has also another co complement mo modality to this uh, procedure. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, uh, l let's get. Uh, are you attach uh, happy, with Gila, with the attachment? Leaflet yes. attachment. Yeah. Good. Uh, let's get a gradient. Yeah. Philip. Philip, you are happy. I'm. I'm very happy. Actually, <laughs> I think this is very good reduction. I think we're going to see the gradient, and I think it will be very satisfactory. Uh, one thing maybe, uh, Gilbert, you can comment, you measure the length of the leaflet at the beginning of the case. Uh, what is the measure you ensure to, to confirm that you have a good grasp of the leaflet? I think uh, with XDR you have 9 millimeter of potential grasping. Um, and I think your leaflet measure is 16, right? So wow, gradient yeah. is only one. Yeah. So, yeah. so Gila can certainly measure that for us on the LVO TV. We'll, so we, that can, we can do that next. Yeah, okay. but that's a beautiful result. Okay, so I think uh, everybody agrees <coughs> we are ready to release this. Okay, let me look. Uh, Let's okay. look at the leaflet. I okay. think Philip wants okay. to look okay. at the leaflet insertion in terms of the length. Okay. The difference in length. So, and Gila, if you can show us the length, that'll be good. What's yeah, the repeat ACT? I'll, I'll get there. Give Mark? me one second. Mark, what's, what's the repeat ACT? We should be doing every 20 minutes. I think okay. now that you have reduction of the V wave, you have a very a small gradient. The only thing to, to check is the insertion. So I think you're very good here. Next to it, gradient is only one. We can get more. This will be the first case we use two XTR in one case. You want to be the first one? Yeah. I'm sure everybody has done it. No, no. I think we should. We can do it offline if you want. No, no, no. Offline? Yeah, do it offline. Yeah, offline, offline. We have a little bit. We have some MR lateral to the clip. Yeah. Okay. Go release that. Okay, we are ready to release them. Did you measure the, the length, uh, Gila? Focus on this yeah, can, uh, just the difference that I think Philip was mentioning. I think that's an excellent point. You can mathematically subtract and see how much leaflet was actually inserted. With the XTR, I think it's less of an issue because the longer clip arms. Mm -hmm. I, th I think, you know, your, your grasp was very good. You were at 120 or high enough in the LA. Yeah. Um, that was a beautiful grasp, so I'm not concerned. But I think to, uh, for the academic purposes, I think if you do that, that's re increase the level of re insurance, yeah. the reassurance, and then you can release the clip and sleep at night. You know. Yeah, so the, so the remaining, Gila, you want to comment on the length? Yeah, it's 1.2. I think we started 1.6, right? That's where we start. Yeah, so it looks like at least seven or more than 7 millimeter of insertion based on the, the, the leaflet. The pre was, was 1.8 centimeters. 1.6 and 6, 7 meters. So, okay. 
Yeah, so That's five, go, uh, good. Five. So I think we are uh, going to the step of release. So if you see, uh, first thing you'll do is they'll start a flush line. You're going to re uh, take out the gripper line out. Okay, yeah. First you'll do is make sure your release and then lock, and unlock, so that we know and it is tight nice. Tighten. tighten, so it's tight. Good. Yeah. Next will be your gripper line. So you take this plastic knob out. Then you have this uh, rubber ring. Take it out. Are able to see it? Hmm. Then same. You have this uh, two lines. Take out the black cover here, hmm. and you floss it. So they're easy movement like that. Yes. They are a little tight many times, but you what you can do is move a little bit. See that? Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's yeah. coming out. No, no, no. No, no, no not coming out means yeah. yes. Now next is your uh, clip. Clip line. Take this out. Same plastic. Then this is a white thread. Right? Yeah. So this one you can release it out. Uh oh. How did this come out like that? Yeah, we'll, we'll cut it. This is a b bad knot. So just take it out. Mm. Okay, release and release, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> neutral, right? Eh? Then leave it neutral. Neutral, neutral, yeah. No, it is. Good. So you keep rotating towards us till you start. You know, we're about to release the yes. clip. The, the ridge the cleft ridge here, yeah. yes. Where's then the what yeah. you do is eight times hmm. towards right us to one, the two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Okay, okay. So Sine. Yeah. Good, release. Okay, right. good. All right. <laughs> and then grip, gripper line up. Yeah. Floro. Floro. And yeah. now when I take the gripper line, always watch. The last uh, thing that this comes is very out. important, uh, especially some of us who do tricuspid work. The needle can get, get very get close stuck. to the, the leaflet, so you have to be careful to watch under floral because sometimes the gripper line can be under tension. Okay, mm. Gila, the clip is completely released. Okay. Okay. Take the M knob out. Yeah, yeah. So what you have to do, undo everything that we did. We had a lot of M. Undo mm. the M, and take out the plus. plus. Yes, good. So what essentially we did, nice. we had plus, we had M, we undid all of that and pulled the clip delivery system in the guide. So now from here it's very easy, you hold it up and from the left hand I'm pulling it out. This yes. Hand here. Mm. Hand on the next one. Next one, yeah, that's the one. Keep ho taking it out no, till it comes. Next one, next one. Yeah, yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. No, no, check, check. See the next yeah, one. Yeah, see the are gonna close it. it this will oh come oh out with it. Okay. No, no, one. keep going, keep going. Put the whole hand here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Yeah. Now oh all yeah. good. Yeah. Once you and see now that. everything come out. No. You're mm -hmm. holding flush, mm -hmm. flush, yeah. flush. Mm -hmm. Good. That's it. Okay, flush, please. Let's flush them. Keep flushing, keep flushing, keep flushing, keep flushing, keep flushing, keep flushing. Flush, 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 flush. Okay, good. Okay, let's look at the yeah, wave yeah. from pressure yeah. now. It's let's say, yeah. You want, you want to flush? Me? No, I want to flush so there's mm -hmm. no blood at all. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> Show me the pressure final now. What are we again? Because many times what happens is. When you have the delivery system, camera. you could have some damped pressure and now so everything is flushed and down. nice and where are we? Oof. Not a lot of reduction. Let's find out from the echo, how bad is the MR good? They still you have some V wave. Yeah. We, s we have to do another clip. Yeah, we'll yeah, do yeah. Another. We will, we will. Huh? Yes, we're going to be left with this. Yeah. But, but we will still reduce by 10 points, like yeah. around 50. So, we are putting a second clip will be where? Lateral. Lateral, yeah, lateral, lateral right? Yeah. 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 We have a little bit of medial MR left, but more um, we should More, lateral. Uh, lateral is more. Yeah. yeah. And what is the total degree of MR? Earlier it was 4 plus. How much it is now? 
said good morning. Two plus. Two and a half plus. <laughs> two plus. <laughs> no, two plus. Two, two plus. plus. Two 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 So I think it's, uh, and that's why we are becoming more aggressive now, putting more more clips. And so now, question is, when you're putting a second clip, are you going to put a XT or NT? XT. Yeah. XT. Yeah. XT. Still XT. XT. Yeah. It's still by. It's a big annulus. And okay. gradient. Yeah. Okay. So I think okay. You want to check another gradient, uh, Gila? Was Again. one before? No, no. It it was two after. Please. Okay. I just did. Okay. Two is okay. Yeah. So it's a very important point that anything <coughs> above five, you're not going to go right. up. So. We are going to introduce the second clip now. Go on live there. Show the third screen. Good. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, ready to grab. Dropping now. <coughs> ACT is three or nine. Good. Okay, now. Sixty. Close now. And undo the tension. Okay. Release okay. tension. Color. Yeah, put the color. I release the tension a little bit. Okay. Um, You can close. I can tell you. <laughs> badly shown. Hmm? It is badly shown from the side. I don't understand unless I'm not going to okay. start doing this. I think we're ready. We're ready, ready to color. ready to close. Close. I think the position of the, uh, okay, of the second clip is beautiful on the angiogram. On the fluoro is very, very close. It's perfect. It's not in contact. It's very good yeah. positioning. Thanks. Good. I cannot close anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, This good. is very good. Nice. Grasp. The grasp is very. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now show the full color. Yep. Who can understand? It should be from the top. Never can understand. What the point of us doing? They could be built in room. Um. What's the systemic pressure now? Can you bring it down a little bit? I mean, like to s yeah, yeah, low 70s. Are yeah. you completely closed or? We are completely closed. Mm -hmm. Somehow the other thing is since the LA is big, maybe this is all we get reduction of V waves, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yes, nice. All right. Okay. Next step. Yeah. Back to the slides. You want to go? Regress a little more to the side. So we are uh, we are ready to release. Yeah, check check gradient, please. I'll check. Check the gradient. Two. Two. Okay, time. good. No change. Okay. So I think uh, Gila, if you're happy, we'll release this. Right? Uh, Everybody okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is locked already? Yeah, this is locked. No, no. This is the... No, this is... Uh, no, this, this is... is no, the clip is not locked. Uh -oh. The clip is... Yeah. The, the clip was not locked before. <laughs> okay. So... Okay, so we're going to lock, unlock, right? Yeah, open and then close completely. Flushers are on, right? Yeah. Uh oh, it opened a little bit. It, it, it opened a little bit. It opened. Yeah. So close, close again. Close Why tight. did it open? Because I think that we didn't lock it clip before. I hope it will not open again. Okay. No, because the the clip was not. Yeah. No, 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 it's okay. Now do it again. Because the clip was not locked mm -hmm. earlier. Okay, now it's not opening. See? Okay. Yeah. Now it's good. 
and then okay, tighten it. Tight. It's a very important demonstration to always check on fluoro in a good angle to see yes. what happened. That was a very good demonstration at the okay, so we're going to paper line. Come locking out the of the paper lines. It is closed. Okay, we're taking out the gripper line, same. Too much water, guys. Fountain. Don't need fountain. <laughs> same gripper line. Yes, smooth, smooth and nice, coming out. Now we'll release the... Lock you guys one. have locked Just it so one. tight. wrong with this new diva system <laughs> why is this like that okay take the lock line out completely again <laughs> test lock right yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. lock unlock so leave it neutral now this mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. Okay, ready for the release? Hila, we're ready to release. Okay. okay. We're coming out. With the fluoro in the uh, Okay, that's. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Yes, ready? Coming out? Yes. Okay, okay. now Sim, stay on fluoro and we'll take the gripper line out. Watch it. Nothing happens to the tip of the needle, and the gripper is out. Okay, the clips are completely right. released. Yeah. Okay. Floral piece, I need to work. Uh, so that. undo the M, undo the plus. Nice. M came out slowly, and just uh, take out the clip okay. delivery system into the guide. Okay. So we'll do our final measurement of the. Yeah. We're going to give some flush. Everything will come out. Right? Mm -hmm. cool. Okay, good. What, mm -hmm. is, what is the blood pressure at this point? The blood pressure is now m m mean of 80, 133 over 47. Mm -hmm. I'm going to flush, take it out. Okay. So the blood pressure did come up after. Uh, Blood that pressure came up? Came up after the clip, uh, yeah. Okay, good. Mm. Flush, give me some more flush. I don't know. So, Kila, how do we look now? Um, uh, mm, we have some residual is that the recording? I We will, one second, I'm just flushing, making sure everything is good, clean. Oh. Okay, show me the. Yeah, so 50, 50 to 35. Mm. What's the blood pressure? Mean of 80. Mean of 60. Say 62, yeah. Very dynamic. So Very good. Yeah. That's good. Nice Number reduction 30. now. Yeah. Wait yeah. for uh, everything come down. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look. So we, uh, this is the final V wave. You see the V waves, just about 35. Okay, we can say what 20 between about 20, right? Yeah. Did you give? Did you give some significant yeah. reduction? Yeah. Because they are, they're freaking out. You know. Don't okay. worry, Mark. It's okay. Us. Okay. Okay. Show the final. Us. Nothing. The show the echo. Guide shows the echo. Now the guide catheter will come out. And the guide come out? Yeah. Okay. We'll just pull the whole system back. So we're going to pull the whole system back. You can see on floral. I don't yeah. see an effusion. Okay, so let's, uh, let's show us the septum first. Yeah, come out. Okay. So now it's we're back in the right atrium. 
Wow. But show the MR. Have you shown final MR? Show the final uh, MR radar. She's going to show yeah. a little bit uh, of the ASD. ASD, nothing. No flow. Wow. Yeah. That's a just a central jet of a one plus now. Good. Looking good. Okay. We are done here. You can finish your slides. Yeah. yeah beautiful. No, but this is definitely what uh, is the, you know threshold of um, <coughs> the. We actually have systematically not analyzed, but last year. Uh, roughly when we saw it's about 18 percent uh, cases yes. we did a, a second clip and I think only a handful of cases uh, three percent uh, two percent we did the three clips and what is your experience uh, at your center Philip yeah very similar I will say 20 percent 30 percent of the case we put a second clip sometime we we did case with we put three clips um, I'm very impressed that you did two clip in uh, almost less than an hour so that speak to the uh, uh, beauty of the procedure. Uh, because we have to teach step by step. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> about <laughs> yeah, 40 Even minutes. So. Okay, let's go back to quickly. I finish mine in next five minutes. But most important is we are talking about, now go to previous slide so that we get our rhythm back. And that is the data of the TVT registry showing that the functional regurgitation has one and a half times higher mortality and almost twice rehospitalization compared to patients where, where we did the clip after the DMR. Next. So key is very important. The way that what we leave residual, and this was the beautiful illustration of it, that you leave a 2 plus, more than 2 plus mitral regurg. You see, your mortality at one year is almost 50 percent. So clearly you want to bring it to 1 to 2 percent. Next. Also we learned the TR. In this patient, baseline TR was only mild. But baseline TR is a very important predictor of outcome of the mitral clip. You can see once you have severe TR, of course sometimes may or may not change after the clip, but almost has 40 percent mortality. Next. And then these are the five independent predictors which came, age, patients on dialysis, and of course the COPD which we know. And then very important is the patient with the tricuspid regurgitation and leaving more than moderate uh, mitral regurg, means three or four plus mitral regurg for end point of death and similar end point death for the death and heart failure rehospitalization. Next. So clearly we understood what the problem. Second is, which is evolving, and I'll ask uh, my colleagues both uh, Anu and uh, Gilbert to talk about that how we are using it in our huge, uh, routine practice is to see this mitral valve pressure gradient. We know residual MR is bad, but what if in order to decrease the MR you create the stenosis. Next, this is the data from Germany. Uh, and they basically saw that both hemodynamic as well as the echocardiographic good correlation. So that's a fantastic that you don't have to do uh, the hemodynamics in every case because echo gives you a very good idea. Next, and showed that based on which we knew always that the various events occur in these patients, 200 plus patients, 25 uh, the were both uh, functional as well as the degenerative regurgitation and degree of MR was associated with a bad outcome, 4 plus almost everybody died within uh, uh, two, three months. So next important point was next slide. And that is that if your gradient was less than 5 or more than 5 on the hemodynamics or on echo, four, less than 4.4 or more than 4.4, there is a clear cut dichotomy in terms of subsequent outcome. So clearly is that you want to, of course, decrease the MR, but not at expense of the uh, stenosis, causing mitral stenosis. And this is what we have had a rare cases where they wanted to put a clip, but after the clip, the gradient became six or eight, and then of course they did not release the clip. So I'll ask just the uh, comment on both uh, with Gilbert and Anno that how many cases which we have, we wanted to do mitral clip, you had a good grasp, but there was a more than five, six millimeter gradient, and then you did not release the clip. For the first clip, I would say in all these cases, we have done two cases, we have come out where we did not release it, but for the second, maybe again same, I would say a handful, maybe four or five cases where, you know, we did not release and we came out. Yep. Uh, and I think for the second clip, we are saying seven. For the first clip, as long as we know we are five, anything more than five, would, we would not go with the second clip. We'll know if you are five already with the first clip and you do second, we'll be seven or more. Yeah. So you didn't want to get into that. Uh, that's, uh, that's a rule we have had here. Yeah, the two points. I think one is that the continuous hemodynamic really helped us, uh, especially when there's no dampening. We actually customize our patient on the gradient. You know, I know the papers said five and 4.4, 4, 
but we've been patients where actually we had six greater than six, but the V-way stayed down, the airway pressure stayed down, so we did not feel that the patient had functional stenosis, so we deployed the clip. Uh, the other point is that depends on the pathology. Barlow's valve with a lot of excess leaflet tissue is difficult uh, because you know a lot of tissue, so the gradient can go up much more quickly, or they have small valve or mitral uh, annular calcification. There but are cases, see, one good thing that uh, since we are doing this hemodynamic measurement, right? We know that we put a first clip, your, uh, it went down by 10 points, 12 points. And when we are doing a second clip, and you're questionable, right? Your echo gradient is six, uh, second clip six, and then, but your V waves shot up again. We know that, uh, you know, releasing the second clip, we will have a, a problem. Issue there. Yeah, so that's, so that's the why this LA uh, pressure monitoring has been very helpful. We are not talking about invasive arterial measurement where you put a catheter in the LV and check the gradient. We are not doing that. We just go with the echo gradient. Yes. But I think LA. It's a very easy. You're not. We are not doing any extra LA catheter, which you know in the beginning, that was a teaching that you put an extra pigtail in the LA, and then you keep doing your uh, you know go uh, clip with the second transeptal. You know, actually, these guys from Germany they did. Right. Oh. They're from the same sheath. They put a four French pigtail right. into not the left atrium. Not that, uh, yeah. No, no. They, they did from the same. Okay. The yeah. same. Put a wire and then put a just put a four French. Four French. And yeah. then they put a five or six French with the left radial mm -hmm. into the ventricle. So mm -hmm. they did a very, very intense right. and uh, guarded hemodynamic monitoring. And later on the conclusion in the mm -hmm. discussion they did say that we should not be doing because echocardiographic the biggest reason what they did abandoning the hemodynamic invasive was echocardiography has a very excellent correlation next That's and this is where the m important slide that is mr grade or you have a the b gradient as you can see here clearly with the mr grade you have a bad outcome of the death and mitral valve replacement and of course the gradient of five or more than five and what really makes it is that the particularly if you have a more than five gradient and you have a more than one plus mr you look at the event rate of 52 percent death rate Tremendous. So the key is this double combination is worse than anything single by itself. Next. And uh, so these are the two important points. Next. And then key was the multivariate predictors, of course, high BNP. And then the, the gradient of more than five or MR gradient more than two plus. They also found that you, if your gradient was more than five and your, but your MR was less than two, what is still in the bad side. So the key is that we have therapies to treat the regurgitation. We don't have much therapies to treat the mitral stenosis medically. So therefore, the, this invasive monitoring should be the part and partial of your technique because that is where you are going to make a patient better. You cannot exchange MR for MS because MS will be even tougher to treat than regurgitation. Next. So this basically is the conclusion. Next. I think we just come. Yes. So we know that uh, FDA approved it, and it's a uh, 2B guideline mitral clip at this time of the ACCHA uh, patient with the primary MR and severe symptoms.